Jesus complex. <laughs> no, I don't wish to be crucified or start a religion with intolerant zealots committing violence with my name on their lips. But I do like to dabble in mild creationism, to fill blank pages with poetry. I'm not particularly noble, spitting out words selflessly in an attempt to change the world. Rather, I like to primp and preen and do unusual lyrical things with language, soaking the oohs, the ahs, the claps, the praise. I would love nothing more than being famous. I want to win every poetry slam I enter and sulk when I don't. Like everyone, I am heaping tablespoons of selfish with a tiny teaspoon of human compassion, kindness, and generosity tied in to offset this. Just a spoonful of sugar makes the arrogance go down. The arrogance go down. The arrogance go down. Just a spoonful of sugar makes the arrogance go down. In the most delightful way. It is this latter part of me that wishes to tell you that I'm healing. That you deserve to do the same. That being damaged doesn't make you a monster, it makes you human. For those trapped inside leprous minds, swim across your lake of tears, it will cleanse your sores. For those with your broken pieces strewn out in front of you, I wish my words to be the needle and thread and the motivation to pick up those pieces and sew them back scar proud inside your chest like war medals. Yeah. For those blinded by your own pain, I want to encourage you to believe in the existence of something other than your own suffering. To see the red fluorescent exit sign in the distance and waddle towards it like a half blind, half dead penguin in the desert. I wish for every half step to give you a bit more of your innocence back to create a lightness of being. I want to shine light in the darkest, coldest, loneliest corners. Hope is the ultimate painkiller. <laughs>